Hi I and Mark your favorite explorer. For some species, time on planet Earth is running out. Human beings are the greatest threat to the survival of endangered species with poaching, habitat destruction and the effects of climate change causing a lot of the problems. Watch this video to the end to learn about some of the beautiful creatures most in need of our help, protection and conservation. 7. Gorillas. Gorillas are fascinating creatures that share 98.3% of their DNA with humans. They are capable of feeling emotions like we do and even behave like us sometimes. Did you know they can laugh? There are two species, the eastern gorilla and the western gorilla, and they both have two subspecies. Three out of four are critically endangered on the IUCN red list of threatened species. The only one that isn't is the mountain gorilla, a subspecies of the eastern gorilla, which is considered endangered. At the time of this video, there are only around 150 to 180 adult cross-river gorillas left in the wild. Like many endangered animals, their decline is mostly due to poaching, habitat loss, disease, and human conflict. Gorillas are also slow to recover as they have a low reproductive rate, meaning females only give birth every four to six years. One female will breed three or four times in her lifetime, making them extremely endangered. 6. Rhinos. The name rhinoceros comes from two Greek words rhino and cirros, which when translated into English mean nose horn. It's a very fitting name, don't you think? Unfortunately, though, poaching for their distinctive horns is their biggest threat. Their horns are used in traditional Chinese medicine and displayed as a status symbol and demonstration of wealth. They are so highly prized that a Javan rhino horn can sell for up to $30,000 per kg on the black market. Because of this, three of the five species of rhinoceros are among the most endangered species in the world, the black rhino, the Javan rhino, and the Sumatran rhino. The Javan rhino is the closest to extinction with only between 46 to 66 individuals left. 5. Sea turtle. Two species of sea turtle are critically endangered on the IUCN red list of threatened species, hawksbill turtles and Kemp's Ridley turtles. Leatherback sea turtles are classified as vulnerable, though the population is decreasing and several subpopulations are facing extinction. Hunting is one of the biggest threats to sea turtles, with poachers targeting their eggs, shells, meat and skin. They are also at risk from habitat loss, bycatch, and pollution as well as climate change. Sand temperature determines the sex of hatchlings with eggs developing as females in warmer temperatures. That means even small temperature changes could skew the sex ratio of populations. Furthermore, breeding beaches could disappear underwater with sea level rise. 4. North Atlantic Right Whale North Atlantic Right Whale are gentle giants that stay close to coasts and spend a lot of time at the surface feeding on zooplankton, all of which makes them an easy target in the right whale to hunt. They were almost wiped out by hunters after their meat and oil rich fat known as blubber, and are now one of the most endangered large whales. There are currently only around 400 of them left, and only about 100 breeding females. They are now protected, and hunting is illegal, but population recovery is slow. Females don't breed for the first 10 years of their life and then will give birth to a single calf every 6 to 10 years. They are still very much at risk of extinction, with boat strikes and entanglement in fishing gear some of the biggest threats. Vessel traffic also creates noise that interferes with their ability to communicate. Whales use sound to find mates, locate food and avoid predators, as well as to navigate and talk to each other. It really is an essential sense. Finally, climate change and changing sea temperatures may affect food availability, which will have a knock-on effect on survival and reproductive rates. 3. Gharial. Gharials are fish-eating crocodiles native to India. They have long thin snouts with a large bump on the end which resembles a pot known as a gara, which is where they get their name. They spend most of their time in freshwater rivers, only leaving the water to bask in the sun and lay eggs. Unfortunately, gharial numbers have been in decline since the 1930s and, sadly, this large crocodilian is now close to extinction. There are only around 100 to 300 left in the wild. Their decline is due to several issues, though all human-made. Habitat loss, pollution and entanglement in fishing nets pose some of the biggest threats, along with poachers that target them for use in traditional medicine. Two. Kakapo. Kakapos are nocturnal ground-dwelling parrots native to New Zealand, and yet another example of an animal brought to the edge of extinction by humans. They are critically endangered with only around 140 individuals remaining, each one with an individual name. They were once common throughout New Zealand and Polynesia but now inhabit just two small islands off the coast of southern New Zealand. One of the main threats to kakapos is predation from introduced species such as cats and stoats that hunt using scent. 
A kakapo's natural reaction is to freeze and blend in with the background when threatened. It is effective against predators that rely on sight to hunt but not smell. Females also leave the nest unattended when finding food, leaving the eggs freely available to predators. Intensive conservation measures mean the population is on the increase now, which is positive. But, genetic diversity is low among the remaining kakapo, which could affect survival in the future, especially if they are struck by a disease. 1. Vaquita. The vaquita is both the smallest and the most endangered marine mammal in the world. It has been classified as critically endangered by the IUCN since 1996, and in 2018, there were only around 6 to 22 vaquitas left. The latest estimate, from July, 2019, suggests there are currently only 9. Their biggest threat is from the illegal fishing of Tatoba, a large fish in demand because of its swim bladder. Vaquitas accidentally end up entangled in the gillnets set for Tatoba and drown because they can no longer swim to the surface to breathe. Conservation efforts led to the introduction of a ban on gillnets and vaquita habitat back in July, 2016, but illegal fishing continues, and the threat remains. Efforts now focus on enforcing the ban on gillnets and persecuting those that use them. Conservationists are also working to decrease demand for tatoba, which is a protected species, 